Magnetism is a powerful force that has been harnessed and used by humankind for hundreds of years. In 1897, a British inventor created a way to catch mice using a device called the Little Nipper. In today's activity, you're going to use these two seemingly unrelated items to construct a vehicle that operates using the power of magnetism and the stored mechanical energy of a mouse trap. At this time, gather the following items. Neodymium magnets are composed of the elements neodymium, iron, and boron. For their mass, neodymium magnets are considered to be one of the strongest and yet cheapest sources of magnetic power. Once you've located all the materials, you're ready to begin the activity. We'll start by assembling the chassis. Pop out all the laser-cut balsa wood parts. You'll notice that there is more than one of some parts, and that each part is numbered. Now that you have all the laser cut parts removed, we can start assembling the chassis. We'll start by selecting one of the side rails, which is part one, and one of the side rail supports, which is part two. Apply a bead of the glue along the line on part one, and then push part two into the slots. Repeat this process to assemble the second side rail using the other two part one and part two pieces. Now that you have the side rail supports glued, locate one of the magnet supports, which is part six. Slide the magnet support onto the side rail until the holes of part six and part one align. Apply a bead of glue along the inside edge. Repeat this procedure to attach the three remaining part six magnet supports to the remaining side rail supports. A magnetic field is an area where the force of a magnet can be observed or recognized. Generally, magnetic fields are strongest at their poles. We're back and moving ahead with the activity. At this time, locate the deck, which is part four, and the deck brace, which is part three. Apply a bead of glue along the inset edges of part four. Next, insert the tab of part four at a 90 degree angle into the slot of the part three. You'll need to hold the assembly in place until the glue dries. Repeat this entire process for the other part three and part four deck assembly.
Once the deck assembly's glue has dried, you're ready to move on. Place a bead of glue along one end of the deck assembly and insert it into the slot in the side rail. Next, locate the brace, which is part five, and apply glue to its end and insert it into the slot on the side rail. Repeat this process for the other side of the chassis assembly. When electricity is run through a coil of wire, the coil is transformed into a magnet. Placing iron inside of the coil will increase the strength of the magnet. We're back and ready to move on. At this time, locate the straw. We're going to use a ruler to measure, mark, and cut four one-half inch pieces from the straw. Next, we'll cut each segment lengthwise. Once your straw segments have been cut, you're ready to insert the magnets. From the outside of the chassis, slide a straw-covered magnet through each of the four holes in the ends of the side rails. The magnet should be flush with the chassis, and the straw should poke through the other end. At this point, the straw becomes the keeper, which is a device that prevents the axles from pulling out of the magnetic field. Next, we'll begin preparing the mousetrap for use in your vehicle. With needle nose pliers, we'll first remove the locking bar and bait pedal. The next step in preparing the mousetrap is to use wire cutters to snip off the right side of the bow. The segment you removed can be set aside. Next, using the needle nose pliers, straighten the bow. Once the bow is straight, you need to locate the hollow tube. Slide the tube onto the straightened bow to create the lever arm. Make sure the spring arm of the mousetrap rests on top of the lever arm. We're moving on in preparation of the mousetrap. Locate the piece of the bow you cut off in step one. If necessary, cut off the end to make the piece straight. Use the needle nose pliers to make a slight bend in the straight end of the bow piece. Insert this into the hollow tube so the hook faces out. If the bow end doesn't fit snugly in the hollow tube, remove it and put more of a bend in the wire. Magnets are currently used in a large number of manufacturing applications and product industries, including data storage, generators, motors, and body imaging. Now it's time to attach the mousetrap to the chassis. With the lever arm extending toward the front of the vehicle, glue the mousetrap to the upper right corner of the deck and right side rail. At this point, 
you'll need to allow the glue to dry approximately two hours. Newton's first law of motion applies to the vehicle you're constructing. The law states that an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. Now that the glue is dry, we're ready to move on with the activity. Locate the axles and screws. Remove the hubs and string anchor from the font. Slide the string anchor onto one of the axles and center it. Now that the string anchor is centered, slide a hub onto each end of the axles. The axle ends should stick out approximately one quarter of an inch. Center a CD on each hub, insert screws, and tighten them with the Phillips screwdriver. Now you are ready to slip the wheel axle assemblies between the magnets. The axle with the string anchor goes on the rear of the MTV underneath the keepers. The magnet will hold the axles. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it merely changes in form. Now it's time to attach the string. The first step is to tie one end of the string onto the lever arm. Next, you'll need to make a loop on the other end. Before you do that, however, you need to measure and trim the end of the string so the finished loop extends between the part 5 piece and the back axle. We're ready to see how the vehicle performs. To prepare the MTV for movement, slip the loop at the end of the string over the string anchor on the rear axle. You may need a friend to help you push back and hold the lever arm while you carefully rotate the rear wheels counterclockwise to wind the string around the rear axle. It's important that the direction of winding should be opposite of the direction you want the vehicle to travel. When winding is complete, continue to hold down on the lever arm. Place the car on the floor and let go. Your vehicle will speed forward as it is propelled by the power of the mousetrap spring. Congratulations on completing the Easy Mag Mousetrap vehicle. If you want to check out other kits by Pitsco, visit our website at www.pitsco.com.